The wonderful thing about this project is you can also import your own images. Import image, and then you go to the upload a file. You can either search on your computer, you can search Instagram, Facebook, you can find a web image, you can even take a picture. So I'm going to just use a simple image that we have left over from my pictures. We've been making some cups, and we'll just go with the general Vikings. Why not? JPEG works easy. There's the image that it's going to cut. You could play with your threshold and such because it'll modify like what it does cut, what it doesn't cut. Find the happy medium, and then also the smoothing helps add contours. So that looks pretty reasonable. Uh, if you want to invert, you can. Inverting, be careful with. White is going to stay. Black is going to disappear. So I would use this in this regards if I wanted only the Viking's head raised up from the other from the ground. But I want to just cut out the Viking's head. I'm going to import that. And you can see my preview on my board over here now too. And I'm only going to go just a light... Let's get rid of Mr. Robertson. Let's change this up into maybe a six inch by six inch board. There. So, move the Vikings head, move the Vikings logo, generate a detailed preview. And, lo and behold, there is our Vikings cut. Notice the grooves, how it cuts each of those grooves out individually. And this is on a point four and a point four in terms of depth. I'm gonna drop that back down to a quarter inch just because we don't need to gouge all the way through the world. Generate my preview and there we go. So with that particular bit I will have a wooden Vikings head. Very simple to do with a black and white image. Now if you have a full color image I will show you one of those. Upload a file. Let's go to a choose a file. Let's do this beaver. It's a logo that somebody had presented and wanted for a mug that we were making. Look at what happens. You got to be mindful what is and isn't traceable. So you got to play with your threshold. We're going to invert that because we want only the beaver cut out. But sometimes it'll take a little while. And maybe we want to trace our outlines. Notice the difference there. Tracing the outline is actually going to create a traced image of it rather than cutting the whole thing. Yeah, it's probably about as good as it's going to get, unfortunately. It's a little bit more difficult of a image to find. So if I go to the import, now look at what it has to cut quite a bit. If we want any detail whatsoever, it's going to be very tough to pull out. So let's compare side by side. So our X, let's make this a 20 inch board. Just so you can see side by side. There, now we got a little bit of a good detail. There it goes. Big data, big file. But we managed to get the general premise of what it looks like there. Now if I go deeper, like it was originally wanting me to, then we're going to lose all of our detail, as you can see there, and it is not going to work. So you, sometimes it's better to have just a little gouge over a large gouge. There we have it. So this is how to make a file in easel. Set up your material dimensions, use your tools across the top here to either import an image or write a name, something easy along those lines. And when you're done, it actually auto saves everything, so you just got to rename it. Sign making. And there you have it.